As we progress from a data model to the actual implementation, we can notice that an entity in the model will become a table. The attributes of an entity will become its columns. Then when this entity or table gets used, it will have rows of data. Each row covers one set of attributes and a row is called as a tuple. It represents an instance of the entity or table to which it belongs. And of course, there can be multiple such instances or to be put in simple terms, multiple such rows. Also, the relationships between each tables are implemented using constraints which are called as primary keys and foreign keys. I will talk about this later as we explore further. From the code, you can see that we have primary keys, we have foreign keys. I will talk about these later. Thank you.